Um, so, uh, like you mentioned, I'm the founder and CEO of Adventure EXP. We host destination work programs, helping young American job seekers obtain paid seasonal jobs and internships in desirable locations around the U.S. <clears throat> the whole idea is to democratize travel. You know, the, the question we posed earlier is how to how to fund abroad experiences or study away experiences. There's nothing wrong with, um, you know, a study abroad program spending a semester in Tanzania building an irrigation system. Frankly, that's a wonderful experience mm -hmm. that if you're if you have access to that, that's something I would I would encourage anybody to participate in because that's wonderful to be in that community and have that experience. However, I just believe in truly democratizing travel because I believe in the power of meaningful travel and that young people can benefit from it, whether that is going halfway around the world or like I mentioned, going to just a different region within your own country. The benefits are real. Research shows that, history shows that, and I believe in Adventure EXP by offering paid positions, it allows young people to travel with purpose to cool places around the U.S. and then work to help offset the cost of that travel. Mm -hmm. And in terms of uh, participation, and I know that you are working both with students and employer side, can you share a little bit about the types of experiences students can participate in? Yeah, great question. It, it very much depends on the time of year and the location that you participate in. If you were to come in the summer on one of our programs, then perhaps you can work at a summer camp or at an amusement park or um, mm -hmm. somewhere in you know a, a touristic community mm -hmm. doing some sort of recreation guides or outdoor activities. Whereas if you were to come mm -hmm. in the winter, because of the nature of these seasonal businesses, you can work um, in, in a wide variety of different food service positions in the hospitality industry, culinary, as well as um, in ski instructors at a lot of ski resorts we mm -hmm. work with. Um, there are some other internship components that we work with. Think engineering, mm -hmm. accounting and finance, sales and marketing, positions like that, where someone who's maybe early on in their college career and trying to figure out where they want to fall in it and, and where they want, um, you know, where they want to spend their time and continue their college career, they can apply some of that knowledge. Let's say they're an undecided engineer, then they can mm -hmm. come on this program and through one of our pro, um, employers that we work with, they're in a rotational engineering program and they can learn a little bit about mm -hmm. mechanical engineering and electrical and wastewater mm -hmm. engineer and things like that. So um, those are some mm -hmm. of the types. Of, awesome. of opportunities that we offer. Huh. And so you're saying that students can even gain potentially college credit for doing something like that. Do you work with some colleges and like, can that happen? We have in the past. Um, admittedly, mm -hmm. that that um, is a little bit outside of the scope of the purpose of what we're offering. For me, I, I think it's a wonderful opportunity if, if a student says, hey, I want to go travel. I want to work to help offset the cost of my travel. And at the same time, I'm going to get college credit. That's absolutely something we would support. In general, most of the positions that we're offering will likely be outside of the scope of what you're studying, or if you're interested mm -hmm. in taking a gap year, whether that's before or after or during college for that matter, um, mm -hmm. it's okay to have a position you're studying finance and you take a ski instructor position for spring semester, that's okay to take time on in your life to have that experience. Um, first of all, you may find that you're interested and passionate about something you've never been exposed to before. And, mm -hmm. and secondly, I think it's a much needed gumption. Young people traveling on their own, the interpersonal skills you gain from living and working on your own, the professional skills of joining an organization, and the technical skills you join from you, you you gain from actually doing the job, they're transferable to your future career. So <laughs> it's um, getting college credit. We will gladly support it, and we have supported it in the past. But it's not necessarily the purpose of the program. <laughs> 